it's me, Fizzy, and welcome to my Undertale Yellow Let's Play. This is part six, and we we just left Starlo with some soul searching to do. We I think we're on his way to his parents' house. That fight was tough. It took me many, 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 many tries <laughs> to get right. So yeah, I'm not proud, but we made it. I... Oh my god, Starlo, this is where your family lives? Are these your parents? It's so green and lush and pretty. I feel like I'm in, like, Harvest Moon or something. You attempt to turn the pump on, but the handle won't budge. It's like a little old school pump here. We've got this very homey deck with corn growing through it. Those are flowers growing around the door. The welcome mat is adorable. This corn is just like Delve's corn. I can't remember the exact lore. It was something about corn being shipped to to the ruins and it just just grew like crazy or something like that. I don't remember the specifics of the lore, but I feel like there is corn lore that I'm missing here. All right, who are you, tall fella? Sorry, can't talk long. I'm preparing for harvest. Must be one of those wild east folk. <laughs> Based on Clover's clothes, that's not a bad guess. Huh? No, I didn't say anything. Did you not? Have you been to Snowden? I've heard rumors of our crops being cultivated around those parts. Oh, we were just, we were just talking about that. I'm thinking of opening up an investigation soon. I'm not bored or anything. Just want to protect the business. <gasps> I hope Delph doesn't get in trouble. I'm trying to remember if I'm pronouncing his name right. Because it's Vlad backwards. So, Delph, Vlad, Delph. Yeah, okay. Sorry, brain fart. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunnyside Farm! It ain't much, but we call it home. My name's Solomon. You must be from Starlow's Town, eh? I have mixed feelings about it all, if I'm being honest. The boy rarely talks to us, it's a shame. He probably thinks we hate his life choices, but that just ain't true. It's because of him that our farm stayed in business during the old drought. His little town attracted monsters to this area after most moved away. I believe that deep down, saving the farm was his true motivation. I do. Aww. I think it's real flattering, the, the accent Starlo puts on for his character. He almost sounds like his old man he does. In reality, my boys both got Christina's voice, lucky fellas. Before they were born, she would always sing so purdy-like. I never hear it no more, though. Guess she lacks the confidence now. Ain't that sad. So, Starlo's mom is Christina. Crest. Ina. Crestina. And Starlo's dad is... I forgot your name already. I'm sorry. I could only remember one name at a time. I have to re-register yours. If you're around Oasis Valley this weekend, stop by the Farmer's Market. The Farmer's Market? Oasis Valley? The crops are looking mighty fine, if I do say so. I would give you some, but they ain't quite ready to eat. If you're around Oasis Valley this weekend, stop by the farmer's market. Okay, so that's the first part of the dialogue that I missed. Oh, this must be Starlo's mom! Oh, hello, little one. Are you a friend of my son's? She's a moon! That's so cute! He's always making new friends. I can't keep up. And Starlo's dad is like... He looks like a cross between like a sunflower and like a teddy bear. Like a stuffed sunflower. <laughs> In any case, make yourself at home. I will I will be sure to do that, Christina. I do hope Starlo grows out of this grows out of this state eventually. He needs to find himself a wife and settle down. If only he wants Aroba's heart back then. I think he was too shy to take initiative, poor boy. When she got engaged to Chu uh, Jin, he didn't set foot outside for days. I eventually had to tell him to move on. It was very difficult. Hmm. Heartbreak is always tragic. I better start thinking about dinner. I wonder if Gilbert and Angie are busy. 
Hmm, I'm sure they're free after all. There's never a bad time for a barbecue. So, I we knew that Starlo and Saroba had history, and we knew that Saroba and Chujin are together, but wasn't there some kind of implication that Starlo had some kind of attachment to Saroba's sister? Or is it just something happened to Saroba's sister that impacted Starlo greatly? I, I'm still a little confused on that relationship. Uh, hopefully I didn't make it up. <laughs> a dirty hat similar to Starlo's rests on the rack. Always good to have a backup. Aww. The fireplace is riddled with cobwebs. Regular cobwebs. Just regular kind? No Muppets here? Muffets. Muffet. Not Muppet. That's something else. <laughs> you check in between the cushions for loose change. All you find are crumbs and corn kernels. Their house is so homey. I love it. A painting of a lush valley surrounded by mountains. What's this picture? A picture of Starlo and Saroba as teenagers. Oh, they're so cute! Starlo is... Oh, I like Starlo a lot. Little glasses boy. Little braces boy. It's very cute. Nothing special, just a lamp. What's in this room? This is like a clash between, like, my... This is very space-themed. I wonder if... If, um, Starlo had a sudden flip, they, like, he seemed like he was into, like, space-themed things. And then suddenly, Western. <laughs> a thick farmer's almanac written by Solomon sits on the dresser. dresser. It has several sticky notes poking out of its pages. A double-decker rocket ship, ready to blast off into pleasant dreams. See ya, space cow- <laughs> See ya, space cowboy! Aww. <laughs> a desk displaying western memorabilia and a sewing machine. The piece of fabric under the machine has been left unfinished. Oh, you can close the... Shades. You can close the shades and the glow-in-the-dark stars glow-in-the-dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking to see if anything changes, like any descriptions change in the dark. Locked. Interesting. Secrets. Okay, so what's in the corn maze then? Are you- does this mean you're Starlo's sibling? Don't you have role-playing to do or something? Shootouts? Inconveniencing pedestrians? That's all bro does after all. He's always up to something, having fun while I'm stuck with the farm work. Ugh. Aww! Go on, I have work to do. What is your name? Not Starlo? The cellar is locked. It must be where the harvest is stored. Starlo's sibling must hate being referred to as not Starlo, and I feel so bad now. <laughs> okay, so there's a lock cellar, a roundabout for the corn. I'm like, is there any secret paths into the corn? I don't really see any breaks in in the um in the patterns here. So maybe not. I do see a UGPS sign off in the distance though. Which means we're getting ready for Mail Whale. Okay, I guess we'll move on. Yeah! Hello again, I have some news! You now can ship yourself if you so choose! Ship myself? What could that mean? Transportation, all for free! If you want to travel, give me a call! We will set to the skies without a care at all! Now I must go, but don't be nervous! Just ring the bell for our service! So... 
if they're giving us the chance to backtrack, does that mean we're just getting a chance to go back to other stores that we've passed to collect items before the big moment? Or are we giving the option to backtrack because there's important things that we can, that have updated or changed since we've come to this point? I kind of want to go check on Delve, 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 and see how he's doing because the cornfield in the cornfield, I just feel like maybe we should check on that. And then I think um, Starlo's dad said something about the oasis, a farmer's market in the oasis. So maybe we should check those places out just to just to make sure. Ding, 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 mail whale. Let me mail myself. I have no packing slip nor labels. I hope this doesn't change anything. Hello, greetings, hip hip hooray. What can I do for you today? I would like to travel, please. Where in the world would you like to fly? Just choose the place and the UGPS sign. So we have, oh, okay. Well, let's, let's go right to Oasis Valley. Let's go there first. A very fine choice. I cannot scoff. Hop into my basket and we'll take off. Oh, no, Clover, you're just a baby. Clover in the bat, like every new sprite animation I see of Clover, they just get cuter and cuter and I cannot take it. Their little peanut shaped head is so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm oh, I'm I'm almost done. <laughs> we have arrived without a scratch. The journey was so fun, but it's time to dispatch. Just ring the bell for any further assistance. The UGPS will be there with little resistance. I was kind of hoping that the mail whale would make me get in a box so that I could get shipped. <laughs> triplets again with the triplets. I remember that the triplets. Why? I feel like it doesn't mean anything, and it's just a silly little line of dialogue to signify there's three barrels of water here, but I'm getting hung up on it. Hello, popular fan, red Undertale game person. Yes, you. Hopefully Martlet didn't give you too much trouble. Not that she would. If you want a guard to mistake you for a human, she's definitely the best one. Um, free hugs? That's right, we did the hugs. Okay, I kind of still want a hug, but I'm in this way too deep. Ignore my existence, please. So we we're looking for a farmer's market. What was this? Oh, oh, hello. Please don't mind me. I was only tending to this little fella. You want to talk more? Uh, how about that weather? Sure is hot today, like always. Do you like, um, air? <laughs> I do. I breathe it all the time. This, yeah. Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm just not in the talking mood right now. Maybe later? Later when? The little sapling has garnered some experience in the world, crafting its own identity through perseverance. However, it still has room to expand into something greater. Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm just not in the talking mood right now. Maybe later? Okay, so... Hopefully, I'll remember that later. Knock, knock, knock. Sorry, I'm not home. You? Okay, that's fine. Valid. Farmer's Market. Don't get distracted now. I mean, hello, Krusty Bayleaf. Hello, Dust Friend. Wait, do you know my nephew? Adorable, wears pink gloves. You look just like this nice little buddy, Boo. This nice little buddy boo who he talked about coming round. So tell me, how is my little wubby dubby doing? This, the baby talk is throwing me off. I don't know why. He never writes me anymore. Says it's too embarrassing or whatnot. Is this um, a family member of the kid on the swing? We sat on the swing and talked, maybe. I'm not, em I'm not that embarrassing of an aunt, you know? I mean, you a little bit. I'm not as embarrassing as my sister, I'll tell you that. She just goes on and on. My little Snooky Bear, have you seen him? So precious. Makes me sick. Failed aunting 101 if you ask me. I just like to talk about my little snookle... Snoodled kins sometimes, is that so bad? I'm sorry. What were we talking about, sweetie? 
I don't know, and I'm afraid to talk to you again, but I'm going to do it. I'd call today blister and hot, I think. Or is that too unoriginal? Maybe something more interesting, like pickle and hot. That makes no sense, actually. So maybe not, then? <laughs> we'll have to think about this some more. The cafe. Oh, you know, maybe the backtracking so we can come to the cafe and play the games that I'm definitely not going to win. Hello, Long Spinda. You, you scare me a little bit. I need to invest in a nice suit to really sell my status. Gotta say, there's something incredibly unsettling about not wearing clothes. That's what it is. You're not wearing clothes. That one is still out of order. This kid is still in this machine. Can't talk. Gaming. I get it. I get it. Run along now. I don't see myself improving anytime soon. A child's drawing depicting three happy monsters. My precious family by me. Uh, I like we've talked to most of these, if not everybody here before. Is there a worm in this jar? Hey, where are you off to, mate? Any space for a plus one? Just joking around, of course. Ha. Yeah, come with me. I just is this Sir Slither? I just, I think it would be neat if I could, like, join your party or something. But I know you're busy and all. So am I. Things pile up, right? Life. Of course. Your busy involves adventure and discovery of wonderful treasures. My busy is more like making sure I don't miss my alimony payments. Sir Slithers. But nah, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, you might find treasure for your alimony payments. No need to stick around worrying about me. You can tell me all about your grand journey later. Maybe you could write a book about it. And I would like, be your editor? I don't know. Just thinking out loud. <laughs> You're a silly little snake in a pot. You know that? And then, tiny fortunes. What's my tiny fortune? I didn't need to spend the money on that fortune, but I did. Hmm. I have never seen a fortune this dark before. Uh, are you sure you want to hear it? What am I saying? You have a right to hear it? Mm, hold on, let me steal myself first. Okay, I see death in your future. Uh, but don't worry too much. There's no time given and well, everyone dies eventually. Maybe I'm seeing a hundred years from now or 200. That is even better. Okay, that was, I mean, I don't want to think about it, okay? I, this, Undertale happens after this game. At some point, it happens afterwards. And we all know what happened to the... We already know what... We, we already know what happens. We just don't know how it happens. And I don't want to face that yet. <laughs> Let's see. Anything up here? Oh, that's right. Nope. We're not stealing money out of those pants. That, okay, I remember that. Um, let's see. I was looking for a farmer's market. That's right, this is the gate that matches Saroba a little bit. A large, ornate gate. Unfortunately, it's locked. Okay, that's still locked. I'm not... Maybe I took that farmer's market thing a little too literally, but it's good that I came back here. The fortune teller thing was a... Uh, interesting there's some characters that have their their dialogue updated hello crabs pinch pinch hee hee beware of my pincers traveler i think um what we'll do now is i'm just gonna go back and visit delve and then we'll move on male whale please pick me up I have no money. Hello, greetings, hip hip hooray. What can I do for you today? Take me away. Please take me to Snowden. A very fine choice. I cannot scoff. Hop into my basket and we'll take off. <laughs> you just bounce around in the little basket. We have arrived without a scratch. The journey was fun, but it's time to dispatch. Just ring the bell for any further assistance. The UGPS will be there with little resistance. I like that um, Clover's model is shaded differently for the different environments that they're in. It gives the, it, it it's, depicts lighting in a really nice way. I like it. All right, Clover, you can run. We forgot about that. 
Hello, Clover! Oh, Dove's here! Hello! You sort of caught me in the middle of moving, but I don't mind taking a break to chat. What's on your mind? What? Where are you going? Oh, see the structure here? I have claimed it as my new residency. Of course, it is in no state for a living at the moment. I will definitely need help on the construction end of things. Not sure if Pops will like the close quarters, but I'm sure he'll get over it. He has a tendency to get a big head from time to time. We're working on it. Your dad? Pops? Oh, your, your balloon. I hadn't thought of it until now, but we might have a crisis on our hands. Half of my luggage here is stocked with corn. Enough to last a week at most, but what then? I suppose I could trek back to my field, but still, that will only get me so far. I don't want to deal with corn withdrawals. Hmm. I will be mulling over this for some time. Don't mind me. Can I talk to, to Starless family? Can is this? Can I fix this? A collection of luggage protecting all of Dalv's fancy outfits. Maybe Dalv should go work for Starlo's parents. So, have you been journeying through the underground? Your bravery is inspiring. The ruins were only the beginning of your obstacles, I'm sure. I do regret troubling you very much so. But with a glass half full mindset, fighting a low level monster first was good for training, right? There are some pretty scary encounters to be had out there. I, yeah, you're telling me. I'm nothing compared to them. Don't, no, that's not true. You were very hard to, Dalv. So please, stay safe. You know, I find it strange. We only met here hours ago, but for some reason, it feels like I've known you for years. Hours? Time is truly the puzzle we will never solve. You mean... Are you talking game... Now I'm thinking, is he, is this a clever joke to talk about game time? As in my total playtime hours? Or did all the Wild East stuff happen in a matter of hours and Clover hasn't even been here for a full day? Let's, I'm having a crisis. Let's talk to this little guy. I basically helped Dalv move all, all by myself. Soon as the exit to Snowden was open, the others bolted, but not me. Nope. I'm loyal like that. Well, good job, buddy. Don't mean to bring the mood down, but, uh, the beach house I was eyeing, down payment alone is like a hundred gold. Not 100, G, 100 grand. But yeah, no, I'm chilling about it. Everyone knows the housing bubble is gonna burst. <laughs> as soon as that happens, I'm cleaning up. My gosh, you're wild. Wait, Dalv, you're gonna live here? Hi, Flowey. Let's get going. Don't tell me what to do, Flowey. Dear owners of the dilapidated cabin. Okay, I we read this sign before. I'm kind of satisfied. We found Dalv, but he mentioned something about a corn crisis. I wonder if we can remedy this. Hey, you. You listen. No cone has plan. Gonna go to top of Big Hill. Big, Big Hill. Can see hotlands from Big Hill. Fire far away, not hurt no cone. You're very smart, no cone. I remember this long guy. You know, I read something else in that same book. It said, eat food to stay strong and healthy. That one is plain obvious. Thanks. Yeah, okay. Well, we we found Dalv. I'm happy. Dalv seems optimistic. The smart thing to do and oh you guys are very cute what are you doing i'm so relieved now everyone on the ground safe i wonder if only children have to deal with this monsters climbing all over your head i mean hey where are you going to next anywhere exciting can i come yeah sure they can all come with me hey do you have pants yet <laughs> no pants okay All right, I was kind of worried that I forgot where I was going. Male whale, I know uh, you're putting in overtime for this small child that's asking you to travel every few minutes, but it's fine, right? We're friends. We, yeah. Yeah, I think, I can't tell. I would have to ask male whale while male whale is at the bar. That's the only way. Okay, so I guess we should go back to the Wild East Farm. A very fine choice. I cannot scoff. Hop into my basket and we'll take off. 
I'm gonna talk to Starlo's parents one more time. Maybe they'll talk about Dalv. Thank you, male whale. And then we'll move on. The crops are looking mighty fine if I do... No! Okay, Oasis Valley. <laughs> Maybe, um, Starlo's sibling. I better start thinking about dinner. I wonder if Gilbert and Angie are busy. Nope, sorry, Christella's saying the same thing. Go on, I have work to do. Okay, we're done. We're leaving. <laughs> Thank you, Starlo's family. They're very cute. I on I'm kind of sad to say that I didn't pick up on the space cowboy theme until literally the game was like space cowboy. Get it? Ha ha. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> there you are. I was about to come looking for you. So, the steam works. The steam works. What kind of Mega Man door is that? That's like... It's like a vault entrance. Don't go in there. May I ask? May I ask why we are here? Because of this. What is... Is that a mask? The mask Kanako made for you. Yes. You see, Clover, Kanako is me in Shujin's... Oh, I thought Kanako was a sibling. Why did I think Kanako was a sibling? Okay. I was completely confused. You, okay. Rearranging. Got it. You see, Clover, Kanako is me in Shujin's only child. You haven't seen her around because she... Hey, everything will be okay. I know how tough you are. You can move past this. I'm positive. There's no need because she's alive. I feel her presence as we speak. The lab. Precisely. Clover, you may not know this, but there is a lab in Hotland. An inquiry from the Fallen Down was sent out some time ago. The Fallen Down? Oh. When monsters get sick. It's referred to as falling down, and that's usually a state that they don't recover from. And that's, those are the kind of monsters that Alphys was testing on. Oh, God, is that... Did, okay, I'm just, I'm not, I didn't know what else to do. In my time of despair, I sent Kanako with them. It's been far too long, and I haven't heard anything. I must travel to the lab to find out where my daughter is. I'm proud of you, Saroba, stepping out and taking charge. You've been in a rut lately. It was tough to watch. So why travel through the Steamworks particularly? It's the quickest route to Hotland from here. Nothing but abandoned rooms as far as I know. I have Chujin's old passcodes for any locked doors as well. So is Chujin all did Chujin work at the labs too? Solid plan. If you need me, I would be happy to accompany you. I don't know how ugly things at the lab may get. You need to stay here and take care of the town. I believe you owe your posse an apology. You're right. I'll take Clover with me. They've proven to be skilled on several fronts. An excellent choice. I trust Clover to deliver justice out there. Alright, we've discussed enough. Let's get moving. Oh my god! This is crazy! This, this portal, this vault entrance is just behind Starlo's family home. Well, I'll see you later, Starlo. Whatever happens, remember that this is for Shujin's legacy. What happened? Oh, Clover, before you go, I forgot to give you this. I got a deputy badge! I've been deputized! Despite a few hiccups, our little adventure was a blast. I'll be seeing you around, partner. Oh, Star- Oh, Clover and Starlo! They're doing- th <laughs> They did the thing! Oh, I'm- It's- <sighs> This game, man. They really had fun. They had to have had fun doing this. Remember, I'm in charge. Stay close by and we'll reach our destination soon. 
Yes, ma'am. You got it. <laughs> She's literally like, can you walk faster, please? <laughs> okay, I'm coming, Saroba. <laughs> Keep up, Clover. We don't have all the time in the world. Saroba, your legs are as long as I am, please. <laughs> I see something. Follow me. I don't... What it... Really? It's like aliens in here. I guess I should have expected this. In its prime, this was the main power source of the underground. That obviously was many years ago. Until we... Until we breathe life back into this thing, we can't progress. Okay. Puzzle time? There's some kind of console here. Maybe one of Chujin's codes will work. Just give me a second. In the meantime, you can... Wait over there in the corner or something. Saroba! I'm not a corner baby. I do things. I am rooted and tootin' and adventure havin. What are you doing, Saroba? I need to concentrate right now. But... But... Okay, fine. I'll entertain myself. That door's locked. This is... Oh, is that a heart on the wall? Right there? It is. Juice? Juice puzzle. Okay, so... What are we doing here? Hmm. Okay. Um. That did something. I don't know what I did. Hey, Saroba, I'm helping, right? I think I'm getting somewhere. Hold on. Saroba, I'm pretty sure it was my juice that did that. Okay, here we go. Um. Oh, I messed up! I think. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I forgot there was another direction that we could go in. Wait, hold on. We gotta take all the juice out of the one in the. Wait. The juice! Hold on! Wait, hold on. <laughs> um... I'll be honest, I vaguely know what I need to do. I know I need to balance the levels. Oh, okay, this takes juice out of the equation, I think. That helps. Because I was like, I have way too much juice, what am I supposed to do? Ah, hold on! No! <laughs> I'm so bad at this! This? Okay, that? Okay, so I need that yellow, that... The circle to be green as well, so everything needs to be green, I'm assuming. The first one was easy. It lulled me into a false sense of security. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm so close. Oh no! Okay, well darn! <laughs> well, I got the bars. Ha <laughs> ha 
okay, there, we got it. Yes, it only took me forever. <laughs> I want to drink all of this juice. I feel like it, it looks like that medicine that I used to have to take when my stomach hurt. And it tasted really nice, but my stomach hurt. So it's still kind of an unpleasant memory. But it tasted really good and it was pink and I liked it. 10 out of 10 would take that medication again. Okay, Saroba almost got it. Didn't think this would actually work. Yeah, I almost got it. Okay, that that was open now. So, <gasps> hi, Flowey. Howdy. Another team up? You're wasting your time, buddy. So far, these monsters these monsters have only brought you misfortune. I feel like following that lady's orders won't end any differently, especially with that lab business. Okay, Flowey, you you just kind of seem like you want to keep me on a very set path. Just try your best to move things along and not get sidetracked. Hopefully we can talk soon. Good luck, Clover. Good luck, Flowey. I... Okay. Washing machines? Laundry room? The door's jammed shut. Okay. You find a stick of beef jerky inside the machine. Absolutely take the beef jerky, Clover! It's empty now. Every laundry machine was stuck shut except for the beef jerky machine. I need to look into this. Beef jerky, heal 16 HP, a convenience store delicacy. <laughs> a pair of cargo jeans is stuck to the table. It's been there a while. Oh, you know what else that I didn't check? I had a, um... Where's my badge? <laughs> I'm looking for my deputy badge. I was deputized. I guess it was just, um, you know, it's not something to find in the inventory. I was going to check the info for it. The smell of old unwashed clothes makes you feel queasy. Ugh. The chute is clogged with strange looking plants. What? Plants? I don't like that. Hmm. I think maybe I'm putting to like, I'm just thinking of like fallout vaults and there was one vault in particular, I think in New Vegas, that's very popular and it's just overrun with scary plant creatures. <laughs> so I see the plants infesting the vents and I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> you peer inside the chamber. It's far too dark to make anything out. Okay. So all of these have the same dialogue. Okay, we can't see any... We can't see inside any of these. And we can't open them or anything like that. This is a very... Desolate, cold-feeling area. Oh my god, and then just as I say that, the, it just springs to life. Oh, how very steampunk-esque. <laughs> the generator is already running. Wow! Oh my gosh, okay, cool. I mean, it's a steamworks. <laughs> What's in here now? You appear inside the chamber. It's far too dark to make anything out. Okay. Oh! Something broke out of one of these! Just some- Don't you ellipsy at me, Clover! So, something has breached containment. We have a wild, um... Locker monster on the loose. So we should be on the lookout for that. Is the laundry working now? They're all jam shut still. Okay. Hey, Saroba! I did it! It's working! Wait, what have you been up to? Oh, 
I wasn't actually doing anything this whole time, was I? Ugh, alright. You're clearly more capable of problem solving. I suppose you should lead the way from now on. Just head west from here. Just head west from here, and we'll reach Hotland eventually. Okay. Well, Saroba, I mean, you could probably kick my ass, so I'll do the puzzles, and you, um, actually don't beat anything up, because we're trying to be nice, so... Ju I guess, yeah, just hang out. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I love the pink. It's... Ooh... I don't think it's a color that was used um, heavily as a theme color in Undertale, so it's nice to see it used as an overworld theme in this style. I am digging it. What luck. Turn the power on and the whole facility goes insane. Since you're now the leader and all, how about you run ahead and turn this steam off? I think I'll, I think I see a switch over there, so no problem, right? Don't worry, I'll catch up. Saroba, don't leave. I'm scared. Just throw me. You should throw me over the vents. I know you're skilled enough for this small task. Go on. Fine, Saroba. But if I get cooked, it's your fault. Ah! I did. I really just ran into that. I don't. I was almost done. Uh, I was almost there, and I ran right into the steam. Don't you beep at me. I didn't do anything good. <laughs> See, no sweat. Don't, it's a robot. I had to, I sweat a lot. There was a lot of sweat going on there. <laughs> I love that the plants are like this sickly white color. The color palette for this area is just, oh. They chose that gray with just, like, a hint of blue in it. The pink highlights. The white plants. It's very... It's... It almost feels, like, Soroba-themed. What happened to her family? Like her, well, her daughter fell down, but what happened to Chujin? Excellence in Engineering Award, Dr. Rutherford Oscar. Rutherford Oscar. Decency in Engineering Award, Professor Daniels. You tried an Engineering Award, Mr. Chujin Ketsu Ketsukane? Wait. Chujin wasn't the greatest engineer, but he tried? He never told me he won an award. I'm proud of him. Oh, Greatness and... You can't make out the rest. Oh, Saroba. I'm over here like, he won... The... The... One of the lower tier awards and she's like, Oh, I'm proud of him. She's a nicer lady than I am. Access model 014, ready to guard and protect. Intruder spotted, Steamworks, Eastern Branch. Wait, who are you? Access model 014, ready to guard and protect. You just said that. My vocabulary is not expansive, ma'am. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. If you let us through, we'll be out of your hair. One, I do not have hair. Two, I cannot allow you to pass. You have trespassed on private property. You have also utilized machinery without permission. No, no, we're just heading to Hotland. <laughs> we aren't malicious in the slightest. It was us who woke up this place. Isn't it nice to have power? While it is nice to be operational again, it is also not nice. I am the last one of my kind to police this area. All of my comrades have rusted over. I always knew I was the best, but I am also lonely now. Oh well. I will now trap you in a cold, dark room for which you might perish. My husband, Shujin, used to work here. I have permission. Don't make me hurt you. Oh, a staff user? Shujin, my creator? Huh? Sorry, I do not see him present. Goodbye. 
wait! Oh my god, we just got dumped! Zoroba, what do we do? We're on this nice box sheet. We should break dance. That's what we should do. Ouch. Can't say I was prepared for that. I knew my husband was an engineer, but he never told me about that guy. He'd mentioned a robotics project that could net him a promotion, but he stopped talking about it after he quit his job here. Ugh. I would have used force to bypass access, but I'm not sure now. He may be the last remnant of Chujin's talent. It would be best if we could just avoid him from now on. In any case, we're pretty lucky he's the only guard bot around. Wait a second. I have an idea. He mentioned how he was lonely, right? Well, what if we fix that? We could use scraps lying around to forge a companion for him. He doesn't seem too bright after all. Maybe that's all we need to distract him? What do you think? Yeah! Yes, I'm, I'm so glad she didn't beat him over the head with that staff. Great. It's the best plan I could think of. So, we seem to be in some sort of storage room. Look around for parts that we can use. Shouldn't take many. Let's see. Oh, you want to use this? Negative. Grab something else then. What else could... Trash? No. I want... Oh, I think I got... I think I got stuck for a second. What? Oh my god. Really? I kind of want to use the trash... Uh, no. Speaker or trash can? Hmm. What else is in here? What else you got? A bow? Oh my god. And a TV? Are we going to use all of these parts? Please. Oh. Okay. I was trying to stack them. And if you put them too close to each other, Clover kind of gets stuck between them. Hey! Oh! A foot! No! Clover! Maybe we should put them on the cardboard in front of Saroba. Here, let me just collect everything first. <gasps> Eyeballs! Clover, pick it up, please! The goo- Oh, Clover, I was- I'm trying to run. That's my problem. Here. You want to use this? Negative. Hold on. I want- I want to pick up everything first. And then put it all down. And then pick it up again. I need to be very tedious about all this. Oh my god. It's a head. The vent has a few loose screws. Okay, well, there's that. Hold on, that's far too easy of an escape. Don't be reckless, we'll find another way out. <laughs> okay, okay, I just wanted to touch the door, Saroba. Is there anything else over here? No, aside from the loose screws here. We can... Here, I want to use this wheel. Yeah! Okay, we'll need three more objects. Only three more? Um, TV body. Yes, absolutely. All right, two more and we can make this a thing. Okay. Um, googly eyes. Definitely. And a bow. Yeah. Please just put the googly eyes on the... I can actually do it? Oh my god. <laughs> They're so cute! Hold on. I want to rotate this. Oh my god, giant bow. Hold on. Can I make the eyeballs bigger? No! Hold on! Oh god, I'm not gonna get the TV right. Okay, eyeballs. Hold on. 
Um, yeah. Uh, like lower, like right there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good, I like it. Yeah, Picasso. It's simple, but recognizable. Not bad. Where's the bow? That takes care of that. You're kind of creative when push comes to shove. All due respect to Chujin's work, but this might just fool Axis. I'll hold on to it for you. <laughs> All right, giant pockets. Let's get out of here, yeah? Super jealous if that dress has pockets. Especially pockets that size. Magnificent. Okay, so, Saroba, let's go through this vent. You finagle it open. Can't say that was fun. But <laughs> let's be extra cautious from now on, okay? I want to know when are we going... Bring out my creation! Where's my daughter?! Okay. We've escaped. Oh! I forgot! I forgot about enemies! Look at this cute little mop bucket! Wait, another robot?! Gee, you're too clean! Let's stain that vest! No way, we can't fight this thing! What if Chujin built- You know what? We'll talk later. Let's find a peaceful way around them. I'll do my best to provide defense for us. Okay, I've got a, a, a little shield now. Jandroid tosses garbage this way and that. All right, buddy. Um, Let's check you out. Jandroid, attack 11, defense 7. Hygiene is not in their vocabulary. You kind of seem like a janitor android. You're not... Are you... Oh, that's... We won't question it. Want a sip of my mop water? It's a freshly made. No, thank you. Wait, hold on. Warning slippery floor. Oh, is that why I'm slip sliding around everywhere? Ridiculous. Amazing. Oh my god. I just got... I just got bodied by Jandroid. And all I have is beef jerky and gunpowder. I guess we can eat the gunpowder. Yeehaw. You put the gunpowder in your mouth and nearly choked to death. HP fully- Are you serious? <laughs> I will never take out the trash. You can't make me. Okay, wet floor, wet floor, wet floor. Oh, are you kidding? This is terrible. This monster's gonna end me. Um, question. You asked Jandroid what their primary directive is. To uh, I mean, help all germs conquer the land? Are you- what's- Please, no! Jandroid, no! Bad! Don't- I'm not your cat! Don't spray me! Oh my god, I can't believe I got- <sighs> How careless. Where the- there's always next time! I can't believe I just got turned over by a mop bucket! Don't you walk up here whistling at me with your pitchy tune! You know what? I'm gonna clean you. You offer to give Jandroid a scrub. They seem offended. No, you! Oh! Oh! I don't like this slippery floor. It's pretty bad. Oh, I got the soap! Jandroid finds you too hygienic. There we go. That... <laughs> I made myself suffer because I was sitting there checking. It's fine. I'd rather the dialogue. Uh, it's a dead end. It looks like we're gonna have Manta Ray? The, the the floor is lava, travelers! I am sorry to say I failed the game some time ago! <laughs> However, you do not have to. I will ferry you across the lake. This bot doesn't seem malicious. That's new. I say we give it a go. Thank you for your trust! With my help, the floor will not be lava. It will just be floor. <laughs> Take a ride? Yeah! Trust the manta ray. I mean... It's fine. We'll trust this manta ray this time. Oh! We don't want to crash into anything. But also... What's down this way? And then this way? 
Oh, I can't go down anymore. Okay, that's fine. Now, what's this way? Will I crash if I go down? Oh, I can get off here. What's here? I don't remember what's here. <laughs> oh, no. Was this a... Have we been here before? Oh, what is this? Hello! Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. The current time is 626, Monday morning. You may have noticed the apple trees outside the steamworks are blooming. That means spring is upon us. This time of year, my creator recommends a picnic by the river just south of here. Why the puzzled look? Have we not met before? I'm the grandfather clock of the underground. It is my responsibility to keep the standard time for all monsters. However, I cannot help but feel there is a miscalculation in my tick-tocking. It is simply driving me mad. I do not sense the gears turning within these walls. Hmm, yes. I believe the main clock face outside has stalled. An engineer should arrive to fix it soon. Do not worry, I will continue to keep the time. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Aw, oh, Grandpa Clock, I have some bad news for you. I'm pretty sure you were factory reset too. I don't know. I don't know. Can we fix it? I don't know if we can help Grandfather Clock. Grandpa Clock, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. All right, Manta Ray, let's go. Up. Um left um more left ooh oh i don't really again well best get on with it watch your step thanks thanks soroba it's you yeah i'm like i can just skip those entirely i think Okay, just don't get confused. Oh, no! That... You... I... Did not move fast enough, apparently. I moved too fast that time. That I'll... You know what? I'll, I'll take it. I did it. That was me. Oh, you... I didn't even... I was... I did... <laughs> We gotta run! Oh my god! The same vent three times! Clover, I am so sorry! <laughs> no! You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Saroba, it's... Don't even worry about it. What is this? We'll flip it. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna touch it, though. Oh, we've opened a new path. Okay. I guess we could have gone this way if not. I guess this was just an alternate path. Okay. All right, Manta Ray. Let us ride. I'm not sure where that bridge opened up, but we'll find it. Let's go up this time. Oh, what is here? Lore? The topmost paper is a handwritten letter. To King Asgore. This project, while exciting, will be quite the undertaking. We will need mining code to work overtime to provide the necessary materials. Furthermore, a meeting was conducted at the factory. I'm happy to report that everyone is on board. There are already many great robot ideas floating about. Cooking, cleaning, recreation, the motivation is through the roof. Though, one engineer suggested we take this further with a protection bot. I'm quite unsure about that proposition, but you have the final say. In any case, we will see this completed. Professor Z. Professor Z. What was Chujin's first name? You find 60 gold in the trash can. Oh, Chujin is his first name, but what was his last name? Not, it didn't start with a Z. Never mind. Take it. Yes. I got 60 gold from the trash. It's fine. It was in the trash can. It's not stealing. It's not in somebody's pants. Only trash left. 
Can I read the other notes? The paper underneath reads, Project Metal and Magic. Effective immediately. Cease home utility... Uh, it effective immediately. Cease home utility production at the factory. The rest of the page is redacted. Hmm. Okay. So, Professor Z? Yes. So, Professor Z, we need to keep a lookout for. Or an ear out for more... More likely. And I, th I th think we're heading in the right direction to get to that newly opened path, but I just want to see where I get. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay. <laughs> oh, but wait, hold on. Take a ride. I want to see what's left and right of this platform. Have you reached your destination? Thanks for the help. Let's keep moving, Clover. If you need another ride, I'll be here. This, oh, okay, no, this seems like the end. That was the first time we've got dialogue about reaching our destination. So maybe that's the platform we're truly exiting on. So let's, let's go around in a few other directions first and see what we've got. It's your boy, Bo! How did I get here? I got contacts, alright? Eyes all over the ground. Enough chit-chat, though. It's business time. As you know, I'm always scouting around for the next big thing. Right, right? Mo is my favorite not-Sonic-Sonic Sonic character. <laughs> so I was on my way here and spotted a bunch of glowy plants on a wall. First thought that sprung to my mind? Taste them. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, the stuff hit me like wham! Best cuisine you'll ever experience, truly. Uh, you got something? I ain't done with the pitch yet, miss. This is important. Mo, oh, you're on fire. But, like I was saying, plates? More like blazed plants. <laughs> I even molded them into recognizable food shapes for that visual appeal. Your <laughs> visual appeal is half the battle, I say. What are... It ain't nobody... Did you know the hat was on fire? Were you do it? Was that a part of the pitch? Ain't nobody gonna buy your product if it looks ugly, right? <laughs> but you would. I know it. Old Mo can always count on your business. Mo, what? You okay? Never better. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, where's my stand? Plant. Buy plant. Ooh. How am I supposed to buy plant now? Why is all of Mo's stuff catching on fire? I, uh, I have a few products left in my pocket. Don't go yet. He is standing behind the rubble. Are you kidding me? Here's what I got. Grassy fries, moss salad, and flower stew. I have just enough to get one of each. You got some moss salad. Appreciate it. Hold on, let me buy more. I'm still open for business. Grassy fries? I don't care, I'm giving all my money to Mo. I'm still open, I know you are, and I'm taking your last item. You got some flower stew, appreciate it. I ain't the down-to-earth type, but uh, thanks, you know, for supporting me so much. You emptied my inventory every time we crossed paths. I've been in a bit of a financial trouble, to be frank. But because of you, and a little luck, I might be able to put that behind me. You done good, kid. Catch you later. Oh, he acknowledged that I bought all his stuff! Mo out! Bye, Mo! <laughs> I love that silly little raccoon. He's like, charismatic Tom Nook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm... I don't think I can go... It appears... Okay, I can't get past the burnt down stand. Take a ride? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we didn't miss Mo. I feel like I, o I almost miss Mo a lot. Is this a tiny map? 
What is this? A blocked off door? Okay. Oh, this is also a blocked off door. I didn't realize this one was blocked off too. Silly me. I do- this does look like a tiny map though on the floor. I don't know what that could mean. Maybe I have to come back later. Okay, I think... We can... Sail to our destination now. Oh, wrong way. Clover and Saroba are just a silly little duo. All right, here's our next side. Offices? Oh my gosh. I could only imagine what the offices in the Steamworks look like. Can I open this? Get a little light in here? No, I'm feeling a bit dusty. What about you, Saroba? <gasps> Axis is back! Escape convicts spotted Steamworks office branch. Oh no, run! Ah! Oh my god, Saroba, you just left me! I was... I thought, don't... What about the robot friend? Halt! You are coming with me! Stay here while I get the tall lady. Do not touch anything. Are you... So she just left me? <laughs> A portable coolant dispenser. Handy. Trash can. This security station would be useful to track roaming robots. If there was any cameras in the Steamworks. <laughs> this security station would be useful to track roaming robots. Okay, but there's none. The mummified remains of an abandoned pizza party. Not even you are brave enough to try. Not the packing peanuts and gunpowder, but you draw the line at mummified pizza. At least we know where Clover's standards are now. I... <sighs> <laughs> it's it's really funny that they drew that line. They're like, Clover will eat packing peanuts. Clover will eat gunpowder. Clover will not eat mummified pizza. However, in that, like objects that are not supposed to be eaten, fine. Old food, not fine. I got it, Clover. I understand. Have you seen my wife? Are you... Is that broom talking to me? I don't... The mop? I... No, I haven't. Trash can. <laughs> Scribbles and doodles of surprising quality lie on the table. You wish you could draw that well. I wish I could draw that well, too. A highly competitive game of chessers was played here. Chessers? A few papers are scattered on the table. Seems to be an unfinished proposal for security camera installations. Nothing on this table? It's okay. What about you, lone chair? Nothing? No? No chair talk? No? Oh, here, I'm just gonna escape through the vents. <laughs> Clover! You creepy little baby. Just crawling around through the vents. Okay, I'm gonna have to run again. <sighs> okay. You! I know, I know! Okay, Clover, please! This is actually a pretty cool sequence, though. Oh! Oh, darn! Oh, nuts! Oh, nuts! Oh, they're getting closer! Axis, no! Where? Oh! Okay! I know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Don't... Don't... Oh, Saroma, please! Clover, the lockers! Follow me! Did it... This is just like alien isolation! <laughs> How? Luckily, that thing doesn't know how to open lockers, as apparently Clover can't either. Except for right now, conveniently, I guess. Huff, huff. This guy means business. My husband was one hell of an engineer. I just wonder why he kept all of this from me. He could have left me some sort of off switch, right? 
The robot. I totally forgot about our plan. So, robot, you did. You just ditched me. You just ran. <laughs> oh, sorry. Next time we see access, we'll try it for sure. I don't... This is... I'm not up for alien isolation right now, Saroba. Hiding in lockers, running from monsters. Please. Now I have to come back and touch everything. Can I get in here? No. I'm gonna come back and touch everything and there's nothing to be touched. Watch. This area was very, very visually appealing to run through. Uh, like the, the broken down monitors, the screens, the, the splashes of color. Also very easy to navigate. Not like easy, like this was easy mode, but well designed for a chase sequence. Very well designed. The obstacles were perfectly placed. There's the, again, the color pops are mainly around the col the corners that you turn. So it, they, they like act as, as guides without being too obvious of being guides. Just the level design for these areas are just, just really good and very intuitive. Crawl through the vent? No. Maybe? Yes? Yeah. Sure. Where are we going? Is this the beginning? I think it is. It is the beginning. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Could I have done that in the first place? No, I don't think so. All right, Saroba, let's roll. Oh, come on! Found you. Br whip out the robot, Saroba! Don't you come on! <laughs> she panicked again! <laughs> and then I panicked! <laughs> I Okay, you know what? I get it. Oh, okay. Okay, I... There's, there's a rhythm to it. And rhythm, unfortunately, is not... Oh! You tricked me! <sighs> Saroba, please! Okay, yes. Looks like he's good. <gasps> Ooh, nice! Axis, hold on a second. One. <laughs> Uh, one million seconds! I do not have the knowledge to count that high. What is this about? I have a surprise for you, a special one. I will admit, you have my attention. Proceed. I have for you your very own robot companion. A sleek, top-of-the-line model. Aren't they beautiful? No. Not in the mood. My eyes are only set on your... My eyes are only set on your apprehension. Goodbye. You're making them cry, Access! Come on now! Robots cannot cry. I have tried. Goodbye. Well, it was worth a shot. Plan C it is. <gasps> I am immobile. If you went with our surprise, it wouldn't have gotten messy. Do not mock my judgment. <laughs> I will return to capture you. With new hands! Oh, poor Axis! Saroba is uh, like Saroba's intimidating. I feel like she's got some some skill in there that she's hiding. I'm spent. Next chair we see, I'm taking a breather. She's taking the robot with her. <laughs> oh, this long hallway <laughs> reminds me of being serenaded by Metaton and I'm hopeful and scared at the same time. Well, there we go. Definitely what I need after that madness. Aww. I wonder what Starlo's up to right now. 
probably on some feisty five quest with a smile on his face. I do envy him to be wrapped in optimism and fantasy. Most might act cheerful, but life down here, it's hopeless. That's why they look to the king for assurance. They believe once he gets seven souls and breaks the barrier, he'll easily be able to overthrow whatever awaits on the surface. A rather foolish outlook if you ask me. Who knows how the humans have prepared for retaliation since then. But I digress. We should handle our problems first. I can't imagine what Kanako's going through right now. You haven't seen my Kanako yet, have you? Here, take a look. <sighs> oh! She's just a baby, it's not fair. Look at that smile, definitely her father's. Gifted like her father too. She's... She didn't deserve this life. I truly wish things could be different. But that's not what fate had planned. I apologize for my vagueness. I prefer to keep the bad memories to myself. Anyway, the lab shouldn't be horribly far from here. We will get to the bottom of this clover. In the meantime, you can scout ahead. I'm gonna rest a bit longer. <sighs> I mean, all of us pretty much, if we've played Undertale, we all know about Alfie's and the true lab ending and the amalgamations and the implication of Siroba's daughter being fallen down, meaning that she was part of those experiments. That's, I'm putting those pieces together correctly. Am I not? I, that's, I wonder if Siroba's going to find out what happened to Kanako. I, maybe, I, maybe this is, maybe they intentionally want you to think that, but something else has happened. Step by step, one by one. Nothing of value resides in this trash can. Vending model 01, system boot, scanning customer. Unauthorized child detected. Go away. Oh, it's got a little mad face. Why am I an unauthorized child? Why, why, why? <laughs> um, let's talk about Axis. Searching for Axis in the database. Axis, latest model 014, is a robot built to act as a royal guard. Production goal, create an army of Axis guard bots to protect monster kind from humanity. Production status, discontinued. That is all of the information I have on this robot. If I were to be helpful, which I will not be, I would tell you to ask an engineer in the factory wing for more information. Where's the factory wing? I cannot tell you. You are unauthorized. Not that I trust you to find it on your own since you are in fact an idiot. Whoa. You are, I like you. I like this vending machine. She reminds me of the vending machine in Futurama, and I like that. My snacks are up to the highest steamwork standards. I ensure the employees' designated meal times are as enjoyable as possible. Because of my popularity, I often run out of inventory, to which my creator resocks every Monday at 8 a.m. That reminds me, my last boot up yesterday was a Sunday. Dr. R.O. should be stopping by any minute now. I simply cannot wait. But none of that is your business, now is it? I thought you were going to call me an idiot again. The Steamworks? What about it? The Steamworks are only the finest in monster science and engineering. No big deal or anything. Structures built from the toughest steel on the greatest mine sure to stand the test of several millennia. Searching for a more advanced facility would be like searching for the corner of a circle. With quality machines such as myself at every turn, lives are improved every day. The Steamworks. Tomorrow means the surface. I am not a propaganda machine. My creator made sure I'd specify that. <laughs> Yay, okay. Your attitude. Code line 327. If a customer is determined unauthorized, treat them with the utmost disrespect so they will not buy up the company's snacks. My disrespectful state was initiated when I scanned your dull face. Bring a Steamworks employee ID next time to experience hospitable mode. Until then, you may still purchase items, but I will tear apart your self-esteem while you do so! Loser. We can never find a Steamworks ID. We have to keep this machine this way forever. 
Gravity granola? Oh, I have no money. I have two gold. Dihydrogen monoxide? Unfiltered dirt. Bad. <laughs> Potato chips. <gasps> Potato chips? Temmie's been here. <laughs> Safety goggles. Heals 13 HP. Tastes like plastic. Will blind you. Safety goggles will blind you. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> I want to see what what this machine says if I... Oh, yes, I will gladly dispense your garbage. Hand it over. Please stop. You almost got me there for a second. Yes, bye. Thanks for nothing. Oh, that's... I don't know how to respond to that. Nothing of value resides in the... Oh, that's right. Okay, the trash can. An old bottle with no message inside. The message is clear. The me... With no mess. Hold on. The message is clear, as in, like, the message is clear. There's no message here, because it's a clear bottle. <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> Go on. Just scream if something makes an attempt on your life. Um. Ah? Okay, I guess nothing is making an attempt on my life, which is. I mean, I guess that's fine. It's the UGPS! Watch it, Clover! We don't want to alert any outsiders, especially workers under Ascor like the UGPS. Your mail will have to wait. Aww. But I want to see my friend Mail Whale. Hi, Flowey. Howdy! Boy, am I glad that Fox Lady let you roam free for a bit. Not being able to talk to my pal has been torture. Now, I know she roped you into some lab detour, but come on. Captive monsters? Talk about a conspiracy nut. I mean, it's like you don't want to follow my advice. Remember your real mission, Clover. The five children you set out to find in the first place. There's no need to visit that dingy lab, you know? Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. Keep your head in the game. This is our journey, not Saroba's. <sighs> hey, wait up! I think I'm ready to get back into things. Lead the way. All right, Saroba. Flo yeah, Flowey really doesn't want us to go to the lab. I mean, I can understand why, but I wonder what other element we're missing to this, because I'm sure there's more than just Undertale's story to that. Goosick. Hi, Goosick. Has come to share some sounds. Why, hello there. Goosick, attack 12, defense 8. Music drives the mood. Louder, louder, louder. Ooh, ooh. Oh no! Okay, the the speaker that's highlighted is the side that the that the notes are gonna come out of. Goose begins spinning in circles. Um, did we check you already? I guess we did, and I forgot. Yeah, that's right. We checked your attack and your defense. Um, let's vibe. You try to enjoy the music, but can't keep up. If you can't vibe, do it. Give it up. I guess we're gonna have to give up. Ooh, okay. Music begins spinning in circles. Ignore? You plug your ears in hopes to block the noise. Gusik just turns it up. D disrespectful! Sorry, Gusik, I thought that's what you wanted. It's fine. If I can't vibe and I can't keep up, I just have to give up, apparently. That CD kind of hurt. So, needle? You move Gusik's needle to a new, calmer record. Wait, I... Oh? But I sh okay, that's smart. Now we should be able to keep up with the vibe, yeah? <laughs> Gusik begins spinning in circles. Now we can vibe. You close your eyes and tap your foot to the music. Gusik joins you. This is nice. I'm never listening to you again, Gusik. Oh! Oh, darn! Please don't hurt me! Oh my god, I keep putting myself in the worst position possible for this thing. Okay. We barely made it out of that one. It's too bad that I'm level one with no defense because these things are hitting me hard. I, I'm also really attached to the silver scarf, which has like the least defense possible. And <laughs> this is my fault. 
More steam. Fantastic. One more time, Clover. You got this. I mean, I sure hope so. I guess we can eat some of Mo's food, right? Or let's eat the beef jerky. You scarfed down the beef jerky. What a classic flavor. Perfect. I'm not gonna get taken out by no steam here. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I went way too early. No! <laughs> Which way is... Okay, I'm gonna have to go all the way around then. Oh, what? See, I got nervous. I'm just, like, not really good at this. I exclaim every time as if I'm surprised, like, something different is supposed to happen, but maybe I should just accept that I'm not very good at stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make it through. It's gonna be fine. There's the lever. Alright, Saroba. Next time you're running through the steam, buddy. Oh! Oh! The plants are overtaking this entire area. Holy... What happened here? Hope this stuff is okay to touch. A dried up fountain lies before you. It doesn't look remotely operational anymore. You peer into the box and find a bucket of nails. Take them? Yeah. You got nails. Do I shoot them out of my out of my gun? Nails, weapon attack 10, small pointed pieces of steel. Could be quite effective if fired at high velocity. Yep, those are for my gun. Various types of plants sit within several containers. The smell is unnatural. Hmm, yeah, why are all these plants like bleach white? A grown, an over, a grown over robot. They're much more silent than you're used to. A grown over robot could use a good cleaning. Where are we? To the science division. Employees have reported the generator is showing more wear than ever. The engineers predict the machine won't last longer than one year from now. I need you to speed up the testing of alternate power sources. The underground depends on it. Head office. So this is what all of the underground used for power, the steamworks, before um, the core in the hotlands. Is I, I would... I think that's the timeline. A grown over robot. You can almost make out a face on its screen. To the head office. More tests are underway, both biological and mechanical. We don't know which direction will ultimately be best for monster kind yet. However, the chemistry lab did have a breakthrough regarding a white plant. Uh-oh. I'll get back to you on that once further testing has commenced. Science division. How very resident evil of you. To the head office. I think we've got it. The white plants have proven have proven able to generate electricity at a fantastic rate. The only issues are that they grow four times faster than normal flora. And once their power is drained, they will wilt into a dark, sticky substance. If this is greenlit, we will need a new division to tend to these plants. Otherwise, working conditions will suffer greatly. Science division. Ugh. A grown over robot. You avoid touching some exposed wires on their back. A grown over robot. Seems more forgotten than the rest. A grown over robot. This one looks like it could cut you. Is that a threat? A grown over robot. You notice a small hat resting on top of them. Is that, to is that Top Chef? It looks like... T Wait, no. It came out in reverse order. That looks like... It I don't know. It's... No, isn't there a chef in Undertale too? I don't... I'm getting my games mixed up. Who's the spaghetti chef? I... That's... That's a chef reference to Undertale, I think. I... It's Undertale. I don't remember which chef it is, but uh, it's definitely Undertale, not Deltarune. Just Science Division. The plants should be 
The plant should suffice as a temporary solution. I've heard one of our top scientists is working toward a new compound. One made from special energy. It could be the key we need. Much more time is necessary to develop it properly, however. As for the proposed greenhouse division, I have an idea. Cheaper, more efficient, and trustworthy. I'll send you some blueprints shortly. Thank you for your time and research. Head office. Rolled up blueprints lie in the box. You take a look. Gardener project. Okay, so it looked like they wanted to create an entire automated system to tend to these plants so that they could be farmed for electricity. Uh, it doesn't look like it worked out very well.